Qualdred, proud sponsors of JD Daily News. Good evening everyone and welcome back to a limited edition, one week only, series of episodes of JD Daily News because as you well know it's health week this week and the children are going to be taking part in an amazing array of different activities that's going to promote their health, their well-being and their fitness as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is explain a little bit and a few things about what will be happening this week. Um, First of all, the children will be wearing step trackers to measure how many steps and how much distance they've covered during the week of Health Week. We are even going to be going to Paris where the children are gonna have the opportunity to run the length of the River Seine. They're gonna throw a bean bag, the equivalent of the length of the track of the Stade de France, and they're even going to jump the equivalent height of the Eiffel Tower, amazing. There's gonna be lots and lots of different activities and we're gonna to come to you each evening and tell you what amazing things the children have been up to. So our first feature is called Sapsford Showstopping Starters, where six brave members of JD staff got to do a cooking experience. They had to make a starter and it's going to be judged on taste, appearance and general deliciousness. So I'll hand you over to Miss Sapsford who will tell you a little bit more about it. Hello and welcome to Sapsford's Showstopping Starters, a new series where we put the culinary skills of some of the famous JD faces to the test. Let us meet our teams. Our first team over here. Have you got a team name? MLS Catering. MLS. M and S. M and S Catering. Thank you. So we have? Sharon. And? Maria. Lovely. Team two. Do you have a team name? We do. M and M. Amazing. Mel, Michelle, and our final team, what's your team name? Colourfully considerate. Lovely. And we have? Susanna. And Hamza. Oh. Fabulous. Thank you. Okay, so the aim of the game is you will be given some ingredients that you will need to use to make a tomato bruschetta. You will have 20 minutes. All the ingredients will be given to you that you need. And your time will start on the whistle. Three, two, one. Let's get cooking. Looks like we've got a bit of a professional over here. Do you do this often? I do. Do you know what a tomato bruschetta is? <laughs> do you, Maria? Uh, I've eaten one. Oh, that's I've good. Well, at least you know what it looks like. Uh, well, yeah. <laughs> There's some very good concentration happening here. Absolutely, because I want them to be pretty much exactly the same size because I want it to look symmetrical. I would expect so nothing less from you, Mrs. Aldred. Thank you. Eight minutes remaining. Eight minutes remaining. Oh, 
I should have done a health and safety. Please watch your fingers. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing there, Susanna? I am chopping my tomatoes. Okay, so do you know what a tomato bruschetta is? A tomato bruschetta? Yes. Uh, tomato bruschetta, yes I do. Okay, that's really handy. Do you, Mr. Arman? What's a bruschetta? Hmm, interesting. Not really sure what's going on out there. Don't know if anyone really knows what a bruschetta is. Not sure I'm looking forward to tasting it either. So Mel, would you like to just tell me about what you're doing? So we're just frying the bread, um, toasting it both sides before we add tomato and we're going to fry some onion to decorate. Oh, for decoration, I like it, thank you. So you have gone for the fried version, yeah. could you uh, tell me about that? Yes, yeah, so um, the fried version, it's, it's very rustic, very quick, trying to get on the grill, trying to get the flavours through, and um, yeah, it's going to be fantastic. Right, okay, thank you. Sean, what are you doing there? We're trying to put some cheese for a difference, um, and we're frying the... <laughs> so we're going to put some cheese on some of the bread and we're going to leave some of the bread plain so people have an option and we're going to toast off the um, bread in the grill and then just add a bit of warmth to the bruschetta, uh, not the bruschetta, the tomato mix and see how it goes. Lovely, thank you. remaining it is now time to start thinking about your presentation and plating up your starter Madrid. Could you show us the other side of that, please? No, absolutely not. No. <laughs> now what? They've all used the puzzle. And that is your time up. Please bring your dishes to the edge of your counters. Well done, let's give them a round of applause. Okay, Team MNS Catering, could you just tell us a little bit about how you made your tomato bruschetta? Okay, so we um, chose to do a cheesy one. So we melted some cheese on one of the the pieces of bread and we left the other one uh, optional so that was plain. Uh, we mixed up the ingredients, gave them a, a slow, slow fry and um, it gives our tomato, onions, garlic and basil. Lovely, right. Miss D, over to you. Presentation looks very colourful. Well done. Yes. Taste. Yeah, make sure you get all those ingredients on there. Mm. 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 Right, team, colourfully considerate. 
Would you, lovely, thank you. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what you did to make your tomato bruschetta? After you. Oh. <laughs> so we did a bit of toasting, a bit of marinating, a bit of chopping, a bit of... We did a lovely sear on the, uh, on the end of the bread. Um, we've got a perfect, perfect tomato compote. Uh, we've got a little vinaigrette in there. Did a little tossing. Um, got a basil, got a bit of basil from what I've got left. Thank you guys. Um, we were a bit challenged on the yes, lack of Yes, we can basil say that again. Of, Challenge. Um, okay, I think that we should uh, get down to tasting. Miss D, over to you. I must say the presentation is immaculate. I love the CC. CC. Yep, you really thought about your group or your team. It doesn't want to be eaten. It's so good. Got a crunch on it. Yeah, delicious crunch. It's almost like a chip. Mm. Nice. Okay, Team M&M. &M. Mm. Mm. Tell us a little bit about how you made your bruschetta. So we started with an artisan sourdough that we got specifically from Crystal Palace, um, locally sourced, supporting local business. Oh yes, you did go the extra mile, didn't you? Yes, we did indeed. Um, shall I carry on? Yeah, with what please, we did tell us. How did you make the tomato mixture on top? So we did um, chopped up the juicy red tomatoes, which we also sourced from Crystal Palace, didn't we, in the marketplace. Um, chopped up the onions finely, um, added some garlic, some salt, some pepper, and um, mixed it all together. And then we had a little bit of a secret ingredient, didn't we, on top of our um, bruschetta. Um, and that was tangy cheese um, underneath everything just to add to the flavour. Yeah. And what we focused on was keeping it low salt so it's a healthy dish. Mm. So you'll find you'll be able to taste all of the natural flavours without salt um, interfering with those flavours. So we hope you really enjoy it. Right, thank you. Over to you, Miss D. Let's have a taste. I think they've already cut you a piece off there. Yeah, which is actually more ideal. Before you eat that, what do you think of the presentation? The presentation is lovely, very colourful as well, and I like the little added um, sticker. I'm here, I'm to, here be to, be awesome. to be awesome. So yeah, let's have a taste. I mean, I can see the cheese. Okay. Mm, this is that crunch. It's good. <gasps> okay, do we have a winner, Miss D? Indeed. Okay. Just about. Would you like to tell us who that is? I will, but before I do that, I must say the flavour in Mr. Ramen's one, really nice. Um, the texture of the bread in Shan, in Shan, what's your group called again? M&S. In the group M&S, the texture of the bread was on point. And I must say the natural flavours from this one was also on point. I'm a natural person, so I really like the natural in that. But I must say, although the bread was burnt, I did get a good part of it. And the winner is indeed... M and M. <laughs> For me, it was the natural flavours. Well done, M and M. Congratulations, M and M. Um, do you have anything that you'd like to say to our lovely judge and the audience? I didn't even know what bruschetta was at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you, everyone. Thank you, Mum. <laughs> it's like my mum and my dad. Yeah. <laughs> it is time to hang up your aprons, clean that crockery and say goodbye for this year. We look forward to seeing you next year for another episode of Sapsford's Show Stopping Starters. Bye! So well done to Mrs. Aldred and Mrs. Walker, Team M and M. Mm -hmm. Slightly cheesy name, but well done on your victory. So now to our next item. 
Um, as you know, the children do mes amis activities during their time here at James Dixon, which is an opportunity for some of the older children and some of the younger children to mix and carry out an activity that's going to be beneficial to all of them. Now, JD twice a year does a Crystal Palace cross country event up the road. And we've been noticing that some of the other teams have been outdoing us on the vest front. So, Miss Huxley came up with a fantastic idea where the children could get together with their Mez Ami class and design a cross country vest. The winning design will actually be made and used by our cross country runners in the next cross country event at Crystal Palace. So let's see what's been happening. If you ever find yourself stuck in the middle of the sea I'll sail the world to find you If you ever find yourself lost in the dark and you can't see Mesa Me is when older year groups join up with the younger year groups and do activities together. For our Mez and Me, we are doing a competition called Simply the Vest, where we design a vest for um, cross country. Look at my design. And I know when I need it, I can count on you. Like four, three, two, and you'll be there. Cause that's what friends are supposed to do, oh yeah Ooh, 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 ooh yeah, yeah If you're tossing and you're turning and you just can't fall asleep I'll sing a song beside you And if you ever forget how much you really mean to me Every day I will remind you, oh, find out what we're made of. Now, our sports leaders, who are children throughout the school, who have shown a real keen interest in sports, have got a really difficult job to do. They're going to judge and they're going to decide the winner of the cross-country vest competition. So wait and see. We'll see how they do. Uh, that brings us to the close of JD Daily News for this evening. But don't forget to tune in tomorrow where we'll bring you details of the sponsored fitness challenge. Whole school PE lesson, Test Trelevin, the old favourite, is back. We'll see if we can catch Miss Trelevin out this time. And there's also a team triathlon to report about as well. So have a lovely evening and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Goodbye. Thank you.